We hear that Google is making its much acclaimed portrait mode from the Pixel now open source technology. It seems that Huawei went early with at least one of its P20 offerings, and Nokia's Pentalens camera phone might bring an in-display fingerprint sensor as well. I'm Jaime Rivera, and before we begin, I'd love to give a shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're looking for a domain, website, or online store, Squarespace is one of my favorite options. It brings beautiful designer templates, and it's really an all-in-one platform that's also highly acclaimed for its 24-7 customer service. Head on over to squarespace.com slash pocket now and get 10% off to get started. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today are extremely unexpected. I mean, we are just a couple of days away from the Huawei P20 event, and the P20 Lite is already available for pre-orders in Poland. Uh, yeah, you can pretty much pre-order it now with a launch date on March 28th. You're getting the Karen 659 processor. In addition, a 1080p display, 3000 milliamp hour battery. It doesn't look like a slouch at all. Obviously, we'll learn more about it when we get to Paris for the event. Other official news come from Apple as the company has just announced that WWDC is happening on June 5th. Set your calendars. As for hardware, it's really hard to predict. Uh, we haven't heard much about that affordable HomePod nor the other affordable Apple products. We do hear that we're getting two iPads, an 11-inch model and a 12.9-inch model, and apparently they'll bring Face ID, they'll kill the bezels, bring a faster processor, etc. Uh, stay tuned. We'll give you a rumor roundup as soon as we learn more as we get closer. Now let's talk about Siri and Apple as a, well, there is this very interesting article that just came out on the information where we actually have Siri engineers talking about, uh, well, the product and how it's really spurred a lot of fights between Apple over what Siri should be and what it is. Up to the point where we hear a lot of things, like for example, the fact that the HomePod was going to be a standalone product and actually not include any Siri functionality up until Apple was interrupted on 2014 by the Amazon Alexa, you know, the Echo speaker. Uh, and so, yeah, Apple had to pretty much re-engineer and reimagine the whole concept up to the point where it delayed the HomePod so long, and we now know that the HomePod's out and people aren't really happy with the Siri implementation. And we're not really happy with what Siri has become either. I mean, this was the first ever digital assistant that actually made headlines, even though Microsoft did something earlier. This was the best one, in my opinion, when it started. Now it's not. Uh, let's see what happens to Siri going forward. Now let's move the spotlight over to Nokia as we can't wait to hear more about that Nokia 9 Pentalens smartphone. Obviously just the whole concept of having different lenses and being able to rotate them around is great, but even better, apparently the company is not done there. It seems that there will be a fingerprint scanner on the display as well. Apparently the company has been working on this technology for a bit. Uh, I'm really stoked. I mean, Nokia has been really killing it lately. I can't wait to, for them to come to the United States. And finally, the most interesting news today have to do with Google and the fact that the company has pretty much just surprised everybody by making the portrait mode uh, that we have on the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL now an open source technology. This is rather interesting. It's probably one of the coolest features of the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL is that portrait mode, the fact that software is able to detect the foreground and background and intelligently adapt the photograph depending on that. I've praised it tremendously because it does a far better job than a lot of other smartphones that use hardware to do it. That's all great. It's not a guarantee that OEMs are going to just pick this up and use it, but I wouldn't understand why they wouldn't if it's now available to them. And, you know, in today's question, that's pretty much it. I mean, what would you like for OEMs to do? Would you prefer for companies to continue what they're doing with triple lenses or dual lenses to achieve this, or you prefer for them to just pick up the Google way and use software. In my case, let's use software, guys. I mean, come on, this is really cool. It's what makes the Pixel so cool. But leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow Daily up here and our comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8 down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.